What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Didn't really plan this video to happen today. We were gonna do some other upgrade videos, but we have a special video today. Girls, what are we doing? I'm going to help people get out of mud. Yeah. yeah. So I got a call from one of my buddies. They went duck hunting and they are stuck in their Jeep in the mud. So got Cassie and the kids gonna hop in the JT. I'm gonna head out in the JK and we're gonna go see how bad this actually is and hopefully get them out. Let's so it looks like we're gonna have a 40 minute drive to his location. They are uh, out duck hunting in the middle of nowhere, you know, on some muddy trails and uh, he sent me some pictures. Looks like they're pretty stuck. Granted, they are in a Grand Cherokee. The only bad thing is I don't think they have any tow hooks. That's kind of why we brought the Max Tracks. We're gonna try to see if those work first. If those don't, then we're gonna have to find somewhere to hook up on the frame with a soft shackle and yank them out. So Cassie and the kids are in the Gladiator. The kids really wanted to come. They heard me say, hey, somebody's stuck in the mud. And they're like, woo, let's go. So, you know, plus I've never been over here. I don't know what to expect. I'm sure the JK could handle anything we throw at it. But this way Cassie and the kids can tag along. And who knows, maybe we'll have some fun when we're out there. good excuse right so I thought I'd take the JT throw the kids in the back and just come you know supervise everybody this is the second time I've driven the JT since Ben put the coil packs in and it is seriously such a noticeable difference so the first time I drove it I forgot he had put the coil packs in and I gassed it trying to make a, a yellow light to red light on a left turn and I, I gave it the gas was going turning and like I had to brake because I didn't realize like I was I was weird I was weirded out almost at first. I was like, man, I forgot the JT had that much that much power. And then it hit. I was like, oh, the coil pack. So it, it really does make a difference. Uh, you know, I didn't do the install with Van. I mean, I kind of came in and out, but highly recommend them. They're fantastic, which makes me even more excited to get the V8 into the LJ because it needs more power. It's kind of slow, so really excited about that. But first, we got to get this guy out of the mud. All right, it looks like it's gonna be up here on the right in about one minute. Roger. <laughs> Dude, definitely muddy. Oh, they're literally, they're literally right there. I gotta lock my hooks because I feel like I'm already about to get stuck. Oh yeah, this is some nasty stuff. This is slick. I saw you pull off and I just the dirt just yeah. immediately. Yeah, all right, you're definitely gonna have to, I'd put the rear locker on for low. Well, I mean, if that trail rate of Grand Cherokee made it that far, I have, I have faith in this <laughs> You have thing. faith? All right, <laughs> let's go do it. You already know if you get stuck, you're going on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that one of your dogs? No. Nope. Okay. That's a random dog. I saw right. Texas for you. Come here, buddy. Yeah, no. Who are you? Getting stuck oh, in the shit. mud. Three legs. Hey, what happened to your leg? What happened to your leg, buddy? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. All right. So the left tire stuck behind like a big, big rut. All right. Rut, basically. Let's go yeah. check it out. Oh. Gee, look at that. This is gonna turn into all three of the Jeeps here getting stuck. I'm I'm going to get stuck. Physically, Ben is stuck. I don't even know if I want to go over there to, to show the video. Yeah. Yeah, you're stuck good. Oh yeah. All right, where can we pull from? All right, time to break out the soft shackle hook it to something on the frame underneath and try to rip them out of here. It's worth giving these things a shot. We're gonna give the traction boards a chance just to see how they do in the mud like this, situations like this. Are the traction boards gonna work? We're gonna find out. Just gonna back up and keep a little momentum, but keep, yeah. There you go, there you go. There you go. No. Nope. Yeah. So the traction boards did not work. We moved the back about two feet, which is gonna allow us put a soft shackle somewhere under the frame here. Doesn't have hooks up front, doesn't have a hitch in the back, so we're gonna have to find somewhere. Wrap this thing around. Did you 
Yeah, the couple. better question, did you get any ducks? Get if you made us no, come all the way dove. out here to get dove. stuff. Dove, we shot oh, dove. two dove at another WMA. <laughs> and then this was the one we were like, all right, cool. It looked like that up there. We're like, road doesn't look too bad. We came down here, I was like, oh, it's slicker than shit. You gonna hook it up under there? All righty. Just keep it in reverse. You're not gonna have to gas it much. You know, just, I'll just slowly pull you out. I'm gonna back up some first and then put some tension on the line. Gunky mud. No way y'all were gonna get out of that. Let me go move it. Yeah, move it back and I'm just gonna drive backwards and pull them. Okay. And then, you know, work, when you get back here, try to turn around, because yeah. it'll be a lot easier going forward instead of backwards. All right, yeah, go back up the Jeep. A uh, decent amount. All right, so we're moving over to Winston with the Gladiator. We are starting to slide over into this field. It's getting a lot muddier. So Cassie is gonna winch, we're gonna winch it, we'll try to winch it over here to the high side, which is a little better. Hold that, I'm sorry, it's very muddy. I gotta move the JK. Still got a little ways to go. He's just gonna have to gas it. That was fantastic. Well, that's one way to do it. All right, back the Jeep up. Just let it roll. Definitely on the list for next year. <laughs> what? Gladiator? All terrains at least. All ter- Oh, I thought you were talking about the Gladiator. Uh, I gotta get stuck too, but... It's a truck. Huh? What you trying to say? You trying to say it's not a truck? That's not what you want. You want a real truck? No, I just want a truck in general. It's doing plenty good for a truck right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yep, keep that, keep that. Back and forth. Back and forth. They really need to come out with a winch that has the uh, engage or disengage the clutch assembly on like an electric solenoid. That'd be really nice. We do have to be careful how long we're using this winch for. Uh, don't want to overheat the winch. So after this pull, if it doesn't uh, get undone, we're gonna take a little five minute break. Let the winch cool down. That thing, do you just see the cake, like the mud caking in the wheel well, like the- Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How did we end up over here? It's, it's, it's sloped down. You can't see it on the camera, but it's- You know, this road looked like a road when we first drove in. You should insert a shot of the road when yeah. we first got here and like now. Oh yeah. Oh, he oh. is in there, man. In there really good. All right, one more shot and we'll be good. How's everything going in there? Having okay, lots of fun. Hey, by the way, this is in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't from New York, dude. I don't know. Jeez. Give it a little bit of gas, like like get it, like a quick, like No, all right. I was hoping it would kind of spin you over, but nothing. There we go, all right, just drive on it. There you go. Keep going, drive. Keep, yeah, you're good. Just keep reversing out of it. Keep going. They are officially unstuck. Unstuck. How, how long do we just winch for? 
probably 20 minutes. Gotcha. So normally it's a lot easier to hook up like a uh, like a tow rope, something that has like a kinetic rope to it, and yeah, just kind of yank them out and keep driving with it. But on a Jeep like this, there's no no tow hooks, no rear receiver, so there's no good place to hook a big bulky rope up to. Now we hooked up to his bottom cross member. Um, the issue with that, if we were to hook a rope up there, is that the rope's a little thicker and it might pop off this rear bumper, the plastic right there. So winch cable is the best course of action for this recovery. So we got that done. Got to decide if me and Cassie want to try to uh, go all the way back in there. Probably not, just because it's it just it looks pretty flat, very muddy, of course. And then, uh, hey, can you unlock it? There's really no need. We're just gonna get covered in mud, and that's more work for me when I get home. So what did we learn? Traction boards, you know, they can help in certain situations. Stuff like this, it was just way, way too soft for those to really, really work. Plus, like I mentioned in the last video, depends on your axles. If you have open diffs, you know, you can't put one in the front, one in the back, because it just transfers power to the, the, the you know, the wheel and tire that has the less, the least traction. So it's kind of what was happening here. We put both on the back side, didn't work. We just had to resort to winching them really would have been nice to hook them up to a tow rope but it just wasn't possible on a jeep that didn't have good recovery points so they are good i'm gonna make sure they can get out of here make sure they don't get stuck on this like there is mud just stuck to the tire every time you go around and i am covered in mud but we got it done we're gonna go pick him up So, you know what your payment is. What's that? You gotta tell people to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And that's it. And have a good time. And that's, and that's it. it. And you just got your vehicle recovered for free. Appreciate it. Or a six pack. Take a six pack. Of what? Beer. What kind? Miller Lite, buddy. Miller Lite? Oh, you get more than that. Cassie, oh, what do you want? Corona Premier. Corona Premier. All right, easy if you done. Can. All righty, thanks, man. Whoop, whoop. Who needs to work a full day job when you can just pull people out and get beer? After the Jeep comes, you're good. And I knew it! I knew it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, what's going I on, like, man? I recognize those two Jeeps. I had a buddy, though, he was going hunting, and uh, he was out there, he got stuck. And so we had to come and we came and pull him out. He's already gone. And I bet you this guy's gonna stop and see what's up. Yep, I guarantee you he will. Guarantee you he will. Yep. Oh, game warden. Well, I'm a big fan of the uh, of the Thanks, site. Nice Thanks, to man. Uh, I'm sure I'll see y'all down at the port eventually. Yeah. I think there's someone else coming up too. Is that them? No, that's not the. My buddy has it. That's them. That's They're back for round two. <laughs> they were going out there with you guys. I uh, no no. So they, they, they were going hunting and then they got stuck. So they called me out like, "Hey Ben, come save me." Uh, all right. Well, we'll catch you guys. All later. right, man. What are you guys doing back? Just want to make sure you guys were all right. Oh yeah, this guy pulled up. He. He's a fan. All right, all right cool. Sounds fan. good. Hey, stop yeah, recording I, me with my shirt off, man. Oh, I'm ugly, good. dude. I'm a fan. All girl. right, see y'all later. Oh. I know it wasn't the most epic recovery ever, but it was a lot of fun. We got to go out, play around in the mud a little bit, which I'm not a big fan of, but most importantly, it helped the buddy out. He would have been there for a while. Hold up, got a ship. And, uh, you know, now it's time to go home, and sadly, we have to clean both the Jeeps, get all the mud off. The plan today was to start the V8 swap. Uh, you know, open the engine up see what it looks like and start diving into that. We still might do that, but it's 6.30 now. Plus, we gotta get home and wash the Jeeps. Most likely me, probably gonna have to wash both of them. So, we will see you guys at home. Really dirty. Really dirty? What yeah. do we have to do? You have to wash it before water hole. You got it, girl. You ready to wash? Yeah, I'm ready to wash. Finally, a woman Daddy, in my life who's gonna help me <laughs> wash the Jeeps. Thank you, Ellie. You're the best. Who should clean it, mommy or daddy? We're gonna wash them later.